Aoyagi, do you ever get homesick while in space? If so, how do you deal with it? Over. Thank you, Aoyagi. Yeah, definitely we do miss the families, I do miss my kids, uh, but luckily we have the facilities to uh, get in touch every day with them. So, for example, we have uh, um, uh, a normal phone call, we have email, and we get to call them also uh, using a video call. And getting in touch with you guys on ham radio as well. So we have the facility to get in touch with our last one and on the ground as well. Over. I've been involved in seven um, experiences of this nature before and having seen in the past what it means to the students to be involved in such an experience like this and to see it, how inspirational it is as well for our students to go on to study things like science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So I really felt that Jumeirah College would benefit uh, and the students would feel really inspired uh, by engaging in an event like this. Originally when I submitted the application we were going to speak to an astronaut. At the time uh, we submitted the application, we didn't know which astronaut we were going to speak to. However, when it became apparent in the, in the most recent weeks that astronaut Sultan was going to be on the space station, Aris got in touch and said, it's possible that you could speak to Emirati astronaut Sultan Al Nayadi. Would you like to do that? And of course I said, absolutely yes. So uh, we uh, did the um, uh, call for questions around the college. We had over 200 questions being submitted and the questions were being selected by Aris and NASA. Uh, we chose the best ones, the most interesting ones, because students here in um, the United Arab Emirates really wanted to find out the experience that Sultan had had uh, before going to the space station, being in the launch on the rocket, and of course now having spent a few days in zero gravity environment as well. This is a very proud opportunity for us. We feel very honoured that Aris and NASA have given us this opportunity for our students, who are very science-minded, we, we have lots doing science and maths, um, to be able to make this live link with Sultan in space. Um, and it's a great opportunity, the fact that he's taken the time out of his busy schedule to answer our student questions, uh, we feel very privileged. Um, in terms of the impact it'll have, um, I think you saw the students and their behaviour, their engagement with the event. Um, so it's suggestive that our, our strengths being science and maths um, is going to continue. I think this will only fire their enthusiasm for, for further study of, of these subjects. All in all, I think it's been a great success. Um, we were obviously nervous beforehand that the link would work, um, but we got a very clear signal. Um, the questions all went, I think, apart from maybe two to the, the astronaut, so um, a very successful um, opportunity for us. I've always been inspired in space and I always wondered what it would feel like to be there and like what scariest things could happen there so that's why I chose that as my question and to hear that it's not as scary as you're trained for it was a relief as I feel like if I wanted to be an astronaut I'd know that it's not as scary. Anything like this and it was like a really good opportunity for me so I submitted a question and I got an email back saying that that I could talk to this astronaut and I was like it's amazing I could not express it with words. It was just absolutely crazy and I've never done anything like this before. It was a great experience. Before I was really curious about space anywhere and after I heard that my question was submitted and the astronauts and NASA accepted it, I was really excited because I really want to learn. I want to take um, or learn about space when I'm older and this was a really good opportunity because I think it's going to really motivate me in the future. Now they're taking measurements uh, almost every day for my sleep, for my change on the diet and for the uh, overall body physiology and we'll do that when we come back on the ground as well just to check what is the effect of microgravity on our bodies. Over. We spoke to Sultan Al-Nayadi from the space station.